much time. So I will request uh, Dr. Archana Arsingh Ji to kindly again restart her proceedings towards the uh, articulation and pronunciation. Thank you. Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying this session so far and uh, I have learned a lot and I hope you have learned a little bit also. Uh, we continue where we have stopped. Uh, Hindi Hindi से अंग्रेजी में बात करने में जो दिक्कतें आती हैं, थोड़ी सी बात हम उस बारे में करेंगे। और ये इसलिए जरूरी है क्योंकि ये सिर्फ हमारे साथ नहीं, हमारे छात्रों के साथ भी ये मुश्किल आती है। जब native speakers हम तो हिंदी के हैं या किसी अन्य भाषा के, लेकिन हमको English बोलनी पड़ रही है, और आगे पढ़ेगी भी interviews के लिए English बोलनी पड़ेगी और job में जाएंगे corporate में तो English बोलनी पड़ेगी तो हर situation के लिए हमें तैयार रहना चाहिए तो क्या दिक्कतें आती हैं जब आपको हिंदी से अंग्रेजी में बात करनी पड़ती है पहली बात तो ये हमारी script में अंतर है हाँ हिंदी बहुत phonetic है और जो जिस तरह से हम लिखते हैं उसी तरह से हम बोलते हैं उसलिए हिंदी का उच्चारण सरल है क्योंकि जैसा लिखा हुआ है वैसे ही अगर पढ़ लो तो आप वैसे ही बोलेंगे उसी ऑन द कॉन्ट्रेल इंग्लिश का बिल्कुल ही अलग है इंग्लिश में जैसे लिखा हुआ है जरूरी नहीं है कि वैसे बोला जा रहा है बोलने की धारणा अलग है और लिखने की अलग है इस वजह से जो हिंदी बोलने वाले हैं वो इंग्लिश को भी उसी तरह प्रोनाउंस करने लगते हैं जैसे कि वो हिंदी को करते हैं सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट वी एनकाउंटर वेन वी आर लर्निंग टू स्पीक हिंदी English, sorry. There is absence of certain words. पहली बात तो कुछ ऐसे sounds हैं जो हिंदी में हैं नहीं, जबकि हिंदी में बहुत सारे sounds हैं, लेकिन फिर भी कुछ sounds हैं जो foreign language के characteristic हैं, वो हमारे पास नहीं हैं। जैसे ये simple सा शब्द है said. Said में जो a है, वो a की मात्रा हमारे पास नहीं है। Said, a, a. या तो हम छोटी ए लगाएंगे तो हम बोलेंगे से जैसे सेव तो सेड या हम बड़ी अगर लगाएंगे तो हम बोलेंगे सैड जैसे ए ए या आई कैसा कै हमारे पास सेड ए नहीं तो अगर हमको सेड कहना है तो हम या तो सैड सेड या सैड कहने लगे तो आप देखिए कि क्यों गुजराती सेड कहते हैं ये दिक्कत उस लिए आती है उसी तरह से और जो प्रोनाउंसिएशन है हमारे पास अ है और की तरफ लेकिन ओ और आ के बीच में ओ, वो नहीं है तो इस तरह से बड़े छोटे छोटे जो दिक्कतें हैं वो हमें साउंड की वजह से हैं जो हमारे पास है ही नहीं तो ये हमारी गलती नहीं है हम्म अब भोजपुरी जो भाषा है भोजपुरी में श है ही नहीं श श अक्षर है ही नहीं उच्चारण है ही नहीं श इसीलिए वो स बोलते हैं हर एक श को स बोलेंगे तो ये उनकी गलती नहीं है ये इसलिए है क्योंकि उनके पास श ही नहीं है तो उन्होंने श बोलना सीखा ही नहीं है जैसे हमारे पास प्लेजर वाला ज नहीं है तो हम यह तो प्लेजर बोलेंगे या प्लेसर बोलेंगे और कई बार तो हम प्लेयर भी बोलेंगे अगर आप ध्यान दें तो सो वर्ड्स कंटेनिंग द लेटर्स टी एच अब ये दूसरी दूसरा एक प्रॉब्लम है टी एच टी एच के कई प्रोनाउंसिएशन है इंग्लिश में ध भी हो जाता है द भी हो जाता है टी एच ई द हो जाएगा टी एच आई एन जी थिंग हो जाएगा थिंग नहीं होगा तो अब टी एच का उच्चारण कहां पे कैसा है ये ना जानने से हमें दिक्कत आती है एस एज इन प्लेजर प्लेजर जो मैंने अभी एग्जांपल दिया इट्स मिसिंग इन हिंदी इसलिए हमें ये ज प्रोनाउंस करना प्लेजर मेजर ट्रेजर ज ज उच्चारण में दिक्कत आती है तो ट्रेजर हो टी भी स्ट्रॉन्ग आर भी स्ट्रॉन्ग और ज को स या ज ज ऐसे बोलेंगे फिर कॉन्जनेंट क्लस्टर्स जब दो तीन अक्षर इकट्ठे आते हैं अब वो जो इकट्ठापन अगर हमारे भाषा में नहीं है तो हमें वो नहीं आएगा बोलना 
जैसे स्ट्रेट एस और पी एक साथ हिंदी में नहीं है स और प एक साथ आता है जैसे स्पष्ट तो हम स्पष्ट बोलना जानते हैं लेकिन स आधा स और ट एक साथ नहीं आता अगर स और ट एक साथ आता है तो स पूरा है जैसे सटीक स्टीक नहीं है हमारे पास स्ट उच्चारण नहीं है तो हम वो बोलने के लिए स्ट्रेट क्योंकि हमें वो आधा स वहां पे बोलना नहीं आ रहा बिकॉज ऑफ द क्लस्टर जो क्लस्टर बन रहा है इसलिए वैसे होता है हाँ फिर आ गया जैसे फ्लाई एल वाई लाई फ्लाई तो फ्लाई या फिल्म एल एम एक साथ एल एम उर्दू में है हिंदी में नहीं उर्दू में है एल शब्द शब्द लेकिन हिंदी में नहीं है तो आधा ल म फिल्म फिल्म वो बोलने में दिक्कत आती है सो मेनी ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट हिंदी स्पीकर्स फेस इन इंग्लिश इज बिकॉज ऑफ द एब्सेंस ऑफ सर्टेन एलिमेंट्स यू नो सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ वी रिकॉग्नाइज दिस पार्ट यू नो रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप टुवर्ड्स सॉल्विंग इफ वी रिकॉग्नाइज इट कि हां ये दिक्कत है कि मैं इस स्ट्रेट बोलता हूं तो मुझे इस स्ट्रेट नहीं बोलना इफ वी आर एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज इट दैट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप नाउ द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम व्हिच हिंदी स्पीकर्स फेस इज अबाउट वेयर टू स्ट्रेस कंपेयर टू इंग्लिश हिंदी हैज वीक बट प्रेडिक्टेबल वर्ड स्ट्रेसेस हिंदी के सारे स्ट्रेसेस बहुत प्रेडिक्टेबल है हमें पता है कि किस अक्षर पे कितना स्ट्रेस करना है ये हमें बचपन से पता है ना क्योंकि हम बचपन से बोलते आ रहे हैं हमारे माँ बाप ने हमें स्ट्रेस पैटर्न सिखाए हैं कि कैसे बोला जाता है तो वो हमें आता है उससे दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ आर इंटोनेशन बट इन इंग्लिश इट सडनली न्यू जैसे आप ये एग्जाम्पल देखिए फोटोग्राफ में ओवर स्ट्रेस है फोटोग्राफ लेकिन जब वो फोटो खींचने वाला आता है तो उसको बोलते हैं फोटोग्राफर तो टॉप तो स्ट्रेस आ जाता है अब मुझे क्या पता मैं कहूंगी फोटोग्राफ तो उसको खींचने वाला फोटोग्राफर ये मैं अपने कॉमन सेंस से प्रोनाउंसिएशन बना रही हूं फोटोग्राफर क्योंकि फोटोग्राफ उसमें ई आर लगा दो फोटोग्राफर लेकिन इंग्लिश में ऐसा है नहीं फोटोग्राफ फोटोग्राफर अब अगर आप भाषा नहीं जानते हैं तो आप पढ़ के उच्चारण कर नहीं सकते इकोनॉमिक्स इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमिक्स इकोनॉमिक्स है जहां पे ई पे नौ पे स्ट्रेस है और इकोनॉमी में सी ओ पे स्ट्रेस आते हैं सो स्ट्रेस पैटर्न दे की चेंजिंग इन इंग्लिश दैट ऑल्सो क्रिएट्स कंफ्यूजन इन द माइंड ऑफ द न्यू लर्नर ऑफ इंग्लिश समबडी हु इज इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम अनदर लैंग्वेज टू इंग्लिश अनस्ट्रेस्ड एंड साइलेंट लेटर्स ये तो है ही है प्रॉब्लम Hindi learners have trouble in swallowing unstressed syllables. हमको आता नहीं हम पूरा शब्द बोलते हैं हम कुछ भी आधा नहीं रखते हैं हिंदी में लेकिन इसमें है जैसे tomorrow. अगर हिंदी स्पीकर tomorrow बोलता है वो बोलता है tomorrow. लेकिन जो English speaker tomorrow बोलता है वो बोलता है tomorrow. 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 T O is so soft. There is no stress on it. We don't say tomorrow. Come tomorrow. We don't say that. We say come tomorrow. T O under. थोड़ा अंदर हो के बोला जाता है. उसी तरह intelligent. You are very intelligent. Intelligent. Mm. ये उच्चारण हिंदी में है ही नहीं. हम बोलेंगे intelligent. I N in intelligent. लेकिन वो है intelligent. When you are speaking in fluently in English. Then इंटेलिजेंट में आई एम बहुत तीव्र तरीके से उच्चारण नहीं होता है रिमेम्बर डू यू रिमेम्बर वेर आर इज राउंडेड ऑफ एंड स्पोकन वेरी सॉफ्टली बट इफ आई हैव टू प्रोनाउंस इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई वुड से रिमेम्बर रिमेम्बर एंड दैट इज हाउ वी आर एबल टू यू नो डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन समबडी हु इज यूज टू स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश एंड समबडी हुई जस्ट स्टार्ट इन लर्न ओके but if we recognize we can go forward okay and sometimes 
those that are very weakly stressed we would you know add more stress to it just say and and may be utna jyada stressed nahi hai you know this and this this and this this is how we could pronounce and it's pronounced like and 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 okay so wo ya was has some stress patterns they need to be revised for that okay that's a problem which we are facing the the sentence formation you see in hindi it is subject object verb as against english where it is subject verb object hamara english mein s v o chalta hai subject verb object aur english mein hindi mein dusra chalta hai subject object verb example hai ram paachala gaya subject object verb now if you have to translate this ram went to school where verb comes in the middle of the sentence so it changes now transliteration would be ram school went i would do that and i would think that i have done a good job because i have translated each word according to the pattern that i know i know this pattern subject object verb so i have translated it in that manner but it is incorrect when we come to english grammar so that's another area where we face a problem i have outlined three or four areas here which is important that we also learn and we help our students to learn also if they are going to go through the, if they are going through this phase of transition okay these are some words that we have here where you need to let your breath out as you make these sounds pat talk catch sound chhodna padta hai hawa ke saath chhodna padta hai them them can sound like them from many in these speakers and in, in fact in so many languages you know them may problem aati hai t and d hindi speakers often say that these consonants with a thicker heavier sound they need to be crisper and lighter in english it's t d hamare paas nahi hai hamare paas t t talu pe baj baja baja ke mara jata hai ta tha da tha that's how we have been taught ta tha da dha karke nahi bola jata hai you know so that's why when we when we have any words with t and d wo hum usi tarah thok baja ke hindi mein bolte hain ta tha da waise hi bolte hain but in english it is t and d it's not ta and da that's the difference v and w v e t wet and w e t wet when you when you actually roll the the word now the problem is in hindi we do not have y we have v and we have b so it can be either be v as in wet or it can be b as in bet but it cannot be w wet and that's why all what becomes what why becomes why when becomes when that's why when we are transitioning that's how we speak what are you doing what are you doing we stress on the t we stress on we roll the r we stress on the d and we pronounce w like v okay so w is what what why when where what that's the pronunciation then the word cluster dg bridges bridges j ye hai nahi hamare paas to wo bridges bridges kaise bolte hain bridges ho jata hai pleasure i will be told you sir and sir ki problems to waise bhi aati hain and s with z sound like walls walls peace peace mein s hai walls mein z hai so we don't know kahan pe plural banate samay z bola jayega kahan pe plural banate samay s bola jayega we don't know so we get confused learn the characteristic of the sound what articulators are used to produce the sound now we have to then start from the beginning when we are starting our uh, lesson in english we have to start from the beginning and we have to see when pronouncing that particular a uh, sound or that particular word or uh, or syllable what are the articulators that are being used 
वो लिप्स है टीथ है टंग है गम ब्रिज है हार्ट पैलेट है सॉफ्ट पैलेट जो मैंने पहले हिंदी में बताया आपको तालू और मुर्धा हार्ट पैलेट सॉफ्ट पैलेट या ग्लॉटस ग्लॉटस कहां से आवाज निकल रही है पहले ये रिकॉग्नाइज करना होगा दूसरी चीज है एयर फ्लो कितना देना है कितनी सांस फूकनी है प्रत्येक अक्षर आपका पी टी जी फिर ये जो प्रोनाउंसिएशन है इसमें एयर फ्लो रुकता है पी टी जी लेकिन एस एफ और टी एच वाला द इसमें प्रोनाउंसिएशन में सांस ज्यादा लंबी जाती है सो वी हैव टू रिकॉग्नाइज दीज लिटिल लिटिल थिंग्स यू नो इन ऑर्डर टू be more articulate in a foreign language in english sufficient breath support to perform, to produce normal speech air must be exhaled to convert air flow into sounds breath stream has to be strong teen cheeze hain jo aapke sound ko kharab kar sakti hain friction hota hai redirection hota hai galat breath dalne se sound idhar ka idhar chala jata hai stoppage hota hai kam breath dalne se sound ruk bhi sakta hai so we have to know the optimum breath that is required to produce a stunt and that's why you need strength and you need accuracy and you need to use your respiratory system i'm going to give you some exercises on that also one of the most noticeable articulation problems is incompleteness uh sound such as t d k k g when produced in words require audible explosion of air but bet You know, it's audible. आपको हवा भी सुनाई दे रही है इनके अंदर और जब वो नहीं सुनाई दे रही है वो इनकम्प्लीट ओके ना दिस वॉज द ब्रेक एक्चुअली इन माई प्रेजेंटेशन ना वी आर बैट गो आई एम कमिंग टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ना प्रोनाउंसिएशन आई एम गोइंग टू कंबाइन द टू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन एक्सरसाइज लेटर प्रोनाउंसिएशन प्रॉब्लम्स वाई डू वी प्रोनाउंस रॉन्गली a little bit has been understood so far it's because of the spelling because uh, if you misspell first thing is in hindi if you misspell you pronounce wrongly in english you pronounce wrongly because you are looking at the spelling and trying to pronounce as it is so spelling can be cause mother tongue influence is always a cause of um, incorrect pronunciation uh, and that is because uh, that's how we have learned how to pronounce a certain words everybody has been pronouncing it in that manner all around us and suddenly we cannot change so that is a problem we can sound strong sounds that can be a problem how where and how to stress is a problem and intonation is a problem these are the pronunciation problems uh, <clears throat> when you are unfamiliar with words you tend to pronounce uh, in, in the wrong manner uh sometimes you spend a lot of time with people who are pronouncing them wrongly they could be your friends they could be your classmates you know your coworkers if everybody is pronouncing some words wrongly we think that it is the correct pronunciation and we also pronounce it wrongly and so many times some words are pronounced wrongly by all of us it's a collective wrongness you know and because it is so collective we assume that all of us are right i have given an example here uh, such as accept not accept 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 are pronounced in the same manner but it is not so accept you this this word is different but i accept a c c e p t is accept for dono mein a me antar hai arctic arctic circle arctic circle hum sabhi arctic bolte hain to arctic hi chalta hai na it's arctic and the last one which i have here etc jo etc likhte hain sentence ke baad hum sabhi likhte hain aur hum sab usko kuch bhi bolte hain etc extra extra etc pata nahi kya kya bolte hain the clear figure correct pronunciation is etc that means and so on and so it continues etc that's the meaning of this this term but all of us pronounce it wrongly so all of us are very happy in our collective wrongness okay <clears throat> some errors in pronunciation stem from using words with you are less so i have already said this that i'll move from move on to eliminating problems from your speech now this is again these things all of us know it's just that uh, a little bit of reiteration 
uh, does not really hurt. So you need to practice and it cannot happen overnight so you need to be really diligent about it. Uh, there is no uh, substitute for practicing. Good listening is a part of good speech. I think uh, you had a session on listening so you understand the importance of listening as a part of speech. Uh, most of the time I like to conduct an exercise an activity of keeping silent for a minute. Uh, we won't do it today because you've already done a section on listening. But when you are asked to keep silent, it becomes the biggest challenge, you know? Because uh, when you are silent, you are not really silent. You are wondering when this silence will get over. You are wondering why this one minute is not passing. Why is it so long? Actually, one minute is one minute, whether you are silent or when you are speaking. But when you are silent, it seems like a long time. Thirdly, you are thinking. You are constantly thinking. So when you are thinking in your mind, the silence is not there. So silence is quite unachievable, you know. But silence is also a part of speech. I want to stress on this. Silence is a part of speech. Those who use their silences well make good speakers. And if ever you have heard a good speaker, you have to observe their silences. Where do they pause? You know, the pauses and the semicolons, the commas and the semicolons are not just there for show. There is a meaning behind them. So we have to learn to use them in our speech. Your silence should speak. That means your pause should also convey something. When you are using a pause in your speech, you are making a very, very powerful statement. If you realize this, you start noticing the pauses. And you start no noticing the eloquence in the pauses and how the pauses actually add to what you are saying. But we talk all the time, you know, we just keep talking all the time without really thinking how important silence is and how well silence can be used in speaking, okay? We are here not because we are talkers, we are speakers. And there is a difference between speaking and just talking. Talking anybody can do, but we have to make a speech, one hour long speech, which is not just talk, you know. So it is quite different from merely talking. And that is why we have to use all these aspects of speech. Listening, silence, everything you have to use. You know, you've already done this, so I'm not going into the details of different types of listening. This, this you have done, and I'm sure you recognize this amongst yourselves. Different types of listeners, fraudulent listeners, monopolistic listeners, <coughs> completers, those who try to fill the gaps, selective listeners who zero in only on the part that is interesting, interesting to them, avoiders don't want to listen to everything, just what they what they are interested in, defensive listeners who they keep assuming that everybody is criticizing them, and attackers, that's the most dangerous category, the attackers who are waiting to find a fault with your speech so that they can attack. So these are the different types of listeners. You have to recognize them when you are making a speech. Okay. Similarly, non-verbal communication is a part of your speech too. Just as silence, just as listening is a part of speech, how you are as an individual is also a part of your speech because your whole body works. When you are making a speech, your whole body works. It's not just your, your articulators. That is one part. But you know, the strength is coming from within you, your hands are showing through their gestures, your eyes, your face, everything participates in making that message a whole package. Okay? So these are the parts of non-verbal communication that come into play when you are trying to communicate something. Proximix is your perception and use of space. How do you use the space? For instance, here I have this lecture, this uh, table in front of me which is not a good idea for a good presentation. You know, I should remove all these barriers and, you know, come forward. But that, that, is, that would be ideal situation. It cannot happen right now. 
Similarly, kinesics is study of body language, your gait, your position, the, yes, the stance of your body, the leaning, whether you are forward like this or back like this, where you keep your hands, do you cross them like this, do you leave them like this. You have to work on each part, okay, facial and eye behavior. And paralanguage is variation in your speech and tone and tempo and duration, you know, all those things. You have a session on body language later, which uh, another uh, man will be taking up. Okay, so I'm not going to go into details of uh, body language, but it is an important part of speech. You have to remember that. <clears throat> what are the influencers of pronunciation? Words influence your pronunciation. You don't know the word, you don't know the pronunciation. Sometimes circumstances influence your pronunciation. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, you are able to pronounce better uh, in the absence of familiar faces. That's also true, you know. When you are speaking, if you have your teacher sitting amongst your students, suddenly you forget everything. You forget your articulation, you forget your pronunciation. So you are, so circumstances also dictate, then emotional state, I have already told you about this. Familiarity with content if you have practiced. I'll tell you something, it's a little secret. Uh, a good presenter is always prepared. Maybe a secret may not really be a secret because you know you have to prepare also. And when you prepare your lecture and deliver it, there is a difference between the lecture that you deliver unprepared. So familiarity with content is very, very important. Expertise in discussion, if you know your subject, you are able to be more articulate and you are able to pronounce well also. Good listening skills, you will be able to pronounce only if you listen. If you are not listening carefully, you cannot pronounce well. So good listening skills, apt use of silence, I'll tell you how. Uh, when you are speaking, uh, how you can actually uh, capitalize on silence, para language. How to be a better speaker. There are many things in this, but uh, I'll skip through these a little bit so that we can come to the exercises also. Uh, we have to speak to bring clarity, we have to research, and we have to be really, really good with our subject. There is no alternative for that. How much ever you might be able to speak very well, but if you don't have content, you will lose your uh, audience in no time. This is what is important. Eliminate verbal pauses. When we are speaking, we tend to have, uh, when we are thinking as we speak, right? We're thinking about the right word. We are thinking about some fact which we are trying to remember. When we do that, we have something called as verbal pause. What we do is, we start uh, verbalizing our thought. Mm, um, we make actions and sounds like that, and all our audience will know he could do it. He's trying to remember something. Okay? Use your silence at that point. Use silence. It is so powerful. You know, and it will make you appear more intelligent. So if you are trying to remember something, just think, I just used silence, I did not look dumb, right? But if I had at the same time done, mm, then I would have done. So avoid verbal pauses, have a silent pause, and your audience will accept it. They will accept it immediately. It's okay if this slows you down a bit, it's okay. You don't have to keep filling every silence with a sound. We get into that habit. If I am silent, I might lose my audience. So I will put verbal pause down. No, but that's not right. Okay, so it's okay to, to be a little slow. In fact, pausing before you give a real answer makes you look more confident. So it's okay to pause. Also, it's okay to come back with a Data. You can say you want to think about it and come back instead of you know using verbal pauses and trying to give some answer. Again, these things we know already. We have to expand our vocabulary and we have to read. Uh, knowing synonyms works well because you know you can use a different word every time. Okay, so for vocabulary, flashcards is the best method. 
use real words. Shun slangs and contractions. Instead of hi, use hello. Instead of ya, use yes. Use real words. Don't use slangs. Why? Because slangs don't mean the same for everybody. Actually, words also don't mean the same, but not as much as slang. Slangs may not actually be understood at all. You know? So slangs are so typical of a region. For instance, in uh, in Chandigarh, we have this common term called Gedi root. Now, Gedi root is understood only by Chandigarhians. Hmm? You go to any other part of the country and you say, Ye ka Gedi root hai kya? So they'll wonder what root you're talking about. So that is our slang. It's a typical Chandigarh slang. But we can't use slangs everywhere. Okay? Ha uh, ha is a verbal pause. Don't use that. Uh, it's important to use intelligent full words. When I say contractions, I mean don't say I can't, I don't, you know, say do not, cannot. That not only gives clarity to your speech, but also gives a little bit of formality to it. You know, you cannot do this in the class. If you say this, this sounds more authoritative than you can't, you can't. You see? So it is the tone. The, the use of words and the completeness of the word, which is very important. So, unless there is a reason for you to use a contraction, I would prefer not to use contractions. Exude confidence. All this will happen only if you have good body language and also if you know your subject. Confidence will come with the knowledge of your subject. Okay? So, that's what this slide is about. I'm skipping this. Because I assume that all of us know our subjects. Improve your posture. Uh, in your uh, session on body language, ma'am will take it up, uh, take up the posture. So we try to not to go too much into details again here because we we want to leave that for the next session. Okay, don't cross your arms across your chest, elongate your neck slightly. You have to be, you know, when you elongate, you appear taller, also gives you more confidence. So to go and slouching at this. So don't uh, don't slouch, okay? Uh, prepare and practice. You can schedule your speech if it is possible. Then schedule it to the best of uh, your day. You know, some some of us are morning speakers, some are afternoon. So if you can do that, do it, uh, if it is possible. And before making a speech, you should not be having a big meal, and you should also avoid drinking milk. Milk strangely gives a kind of a throaty uh, feeling, you know, it, it leaves a certain thing in your throat. So that leads to unclear speech. So if you are about to make an important speech, best drink for you is water. Okay, so keep drinking a lot of water. Again, uh, these things I'm going to skip because it only talks stresses on preparation. Speak slowly. Slow is very important. Fast is not bad. Just remember that. Just as short sentences are good, long are not good. Because when you have a long sentence, you have to keep on adding commas and commas and commas and making breaking it down into many, many short sentences. So that becomes a very laborious process. What we do is in speech, whenever you want to put a comma, put a full stop. You know? Just finish the sentence and then begin another one. So that makes it easier. Okay, so keep it slow. Uh, don't keep, don't speak very fast because you know it takes about six seconds for the audience to assimilate what you have said. When the message goes from me to you, it takes about six seconds for the brain to understand. And then if you are speaking very fast, then it piles up like this, you know, message on top of message on top of message, and there are too many messages which my brain has not assimilated. And so I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose all of them and just be with the last thought which you have presented. So speak slowly. Let the message go and stay. The second message goes and stays. Give them time to assimilate. After all, they are also human beings. So speak slow. We have a tendency, you know, when we get excited, we speak fast. When we get angry, we speak fast. When we want, when we feel that we have something important to say, we speak fast. You know, so we try to speak slowly. Using your hands is a very good idea, but not excessively. 
okay using your hands because hands give energy to speech so again this is a part of uh, body language which will be taken up tomorrow expand your knowledge okay i am skipping this also now i'm coming to breathing exercises which are more in tune with the articulation class i'm going to give you some exercises which to many of you would uh, seem like yoga exercises that's okay uh inhale slowly and deeply through the nose exhale slowly through the mouth repeat now why am i doing this first we understand the relevance of this it's because right in the beginning i told you speech is a physical exercise okay it requires the use of muscles which and body parts the jaw the tongue you know all of them have to work very hard for speech to happen at all and you know that when you know when when you are an athlete you work on your muscles if you are a runner then you work on your leg your thighs your calves you exercise so much that you have strong legs if you are a weightlifter you exercise so much that you have strong shoulders and strong arms to be able to lift the weight but if you are a speaker why don't you exercise your mouth to have a very strong tongue and a very strong jaw have you not noticed that the end of every class your mouth aches as teachers you will empathize with me you go home and you don't want to speak for 2 hours because you have spoken the whole day and your mouth hurts i go home and i tell my children mera dard ho raha hai mera galla gardan dard ho rahi hai gala dard ho raha hai don't we as teachers get speakers throats that we start coughing hmm? it's because of constant speaking some chalk some speech it affects us doesn't it so why don't we exercise the singer who is relying on his throat to make a living does riyaz every day gargles each muleti takes care of their throat they do it because that's their profession they use their throat to make money we use our throat to make money too is it not are we not as much professionals as those singers are we not as much professionals as those actors we have to perform we have to speak that is why these exercises i suppose now you will pay more attention inhale slowly deeply through the nose exhale slowly through the mouth repeat inhale slowly deeply through the nose exhale making an ah sound using your diaphragm okay ah it has to come out from within so you do that then bring it out in short spurts all these exercises i know from they has got but they are also speech exercises so learn them inhale slowly and count aloud clearly enunciating each number until you run out of breath so first you take in your breath and then you start counting okay 1 2 3 4 5 as much as you can count aloud till you run out of breath you will notice with more practice you will be able to count further and further and further ho sakta hai pehli baar aap 10 tak kar paye phir 15 tak phir 20 25 30 jitne zyada aap kar payenge utna better aapki speech hoti jayegi you know that is an exercise this is also a good warm up exercise for your articulators before beginning a big speech you do this little bit read the following sentence as many times as you can on one breath this sentence is filled with words that use air this is the sentence it has her her is about releasing air releasing breath her mein aapki sari saans nikalti hai her aap bina saans nikale bol nahi sakte he hid at home and saw when his sister seized whatever he had on top in the thin five shelf closet saans rukne lagti hai by the end of this sentence you please write this down practice this every day you know practice this sentence every day you will never run out of breath in your sessions now test yourself 
take a deep breath and see how far you can read through this grouping of words. I'm giving you these groupings. Let's see how far we can go with them. Do we want to do this exercise? Yes, we'll start with these articulation yes. exercises. Ah, yes, please. Pause. Collecting and projecting, receding and speeding and shocking and rocking and darting and parting and treading and spreading and whizzing and hissing and dripping and skipping and hitting and splitting and shining and twinning. How fast you can say that in one breath? We want to do these exercises. Do the, cent the centers want to join us? And rattling and battling and shaking and quaking and pouring and roaring and waving and waving and flowing and going, heaving and cleaving and pooping and roaming and pooping and pooping and dropping and hopping. Do we want to test this? I think it would be a good idea that we go to the centers. Uh, they will be able to appreciate. Uh, this is not a complete exercise. I mean, one day is not a one day affair. You have to keep doing it, these breathing exercises, so that uh, you have a capacity to pronounce and articulate your uh, sentences properly, your words properly, your phrases properly. Uh, but let us try. Let us try to begin today. Yes. This is the beginning, beginning of this is, ex yes. exercise. That's the first step. We normally take it granted that this is a exercise that we will do in the home, do But as ma'am has very clearly pointed out to all of us, and uh, I am really inspired for that, from that, that uh, uh, our voice as teachers is one of the biggest asset with us. And it is as important to any other yes. profession like uh, uh, RJs or a person who are in the theater or in the movies, uh, actors or even the singers, anybody. And our profession also calls for uh, our voice uh, oh, yes. and, and we require some exercises. Imagine if you lose your voice, you lose your job. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we don't appreciate uh, the assets <laughs> which we are having and how to yes. make those assets more and more. Meaningful and uh, grow, grow those uh, assets. Uh, so, so this would you is like to practice? Yes, maybe one of the centers, maybe maybe the second number to come here. G M I T, G M I T I, ma'am. Would you like to try this one? Would you like to practice? Yes, ma'am. Can I? सांस ले ले पूरा सांस लेके पूरा माइक को दूर collecting and projecting, receding and speeding and shocking and rocking and darting and parting and trading and spreading and whizzing and whizzing and dipping and spinning and cutting and splitting and shining and turning and rattling and battling and shifting and quacking and pouring and roaring and waving and revving and flowing and going and having and living and foaming and rolling and moaning and groaning and dropping and hooking. Very good. You took I think one little breath in between, but yeah, it's okay. but it was very yeah. good, very good. Yeah. Thank so, you. Uh, you you must be doing some breathing exercises anyway. You are not you are cutting it. Yes. This is a outcome or something. Of that, so you can easily check it out. That, uh, Somebody else from your center would like to try? Yes. Some some other some other uh, participant. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Ma Hello, sir. Reading and speeding and shocking and rocking and darting and cutting and spreading and spreading and whizzing and whizzing and dipping and dipping and hitting and spreading and shining and spinning and dressing and wetting and shaking and quitting and pouring and rolling and whipping and driving it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You did a good job, I would say. Uh, sometimes we are not, if we are not having a good, good uh, control over our breath, we just have two or three of them even. Uh, some other center, can we put some other center now? Maybe that uh, Kukshetra, Shri Krishna Institute of Engineering and Technology, Kukshetra. Do you want to try? Any one of the participants would like to try, ma'am? The moment we say, oh, he, he runs out of the class. <laughs> 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 Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma would you like to try? One number, can't hurry or it's content to this disease to not pull it. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
So, with this exercise, uh, we understand that how important the breathing is. Ma'am has laid uh, you know, emphasis on two major things. One is our breathing, which controls our uh, articulation and pronunciation, our uh, speech, and the second one is tongue, the control over the tongue also. The most other things are also important, but these two, and she has given you very good exercises to improve both of them. Yes. Uh, to do for, for the, the breathe uh, exercises. And for the time and twisters are there. Yeah. Okay. We also continue with uh, more uh, exercises here to overcome. These are again four problems that we face. Immovable jaw. When we are not moving our jaw adequately, mm -hmm. this part. Idle tongue is again the tongue problem. Lazy lips when we don't use our lips well also. And too much speed. I have stressed again on slow slow speech is important okay so these exercises are for all these problems that you face spread the lips in a smile for e open them for a close them for o and repeat e a o we have to exercise our jaw also this is also part of articulation this also needs it that's why it hurts Sara din ban kol ban kol ban kol. Imagine how much exercise there is. You know, we never thought about it. Poor thing. Pura din ekhi. Agar apko pura din uthak baithak karni ho, khud ko. Niche baith ke uthna, fir niche baith ke uthna. Agar apko khud ko karna ho, how much your legs and your back are going to hurt? Or ye jaw sara din yehi kam karta hai. Uthta hai, baithta hai, uthta hai, baithta hai, uthta hai, baithta hai. So we have to do these exercises for our jaw. Then rapidly say but da 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 several times. Then say ira 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 ira. These are sound as well as jaw. Okay, these exercises. Make believe that you are a truck and trill your tongue. Do that. This is going to help your tongue to to move. You know. And if ye subeh subeh ab ek baar trrr wala kar le, to ab saare din bolne ke liye tayar ho jaate. आपकी जुबान तैयार हो जाती है वो एनर्जाइज हो जाती है इट्स लाइक जॉग ओके लिटिल जॉग इन द मॉर्निंग फॉर योर टाउन सो बच्चे करते हैं ये बच्चे वो छोटी छोटी गाड़ियां चलाते हैं और टर 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 करते हैं वो हम भूल गए करना सो लेट्स गो बैक टू आर चाइल्ड हुड एंड लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट डूइंग दैट सुबह उठ के टर टर योर टाउन इफ यू रिमेंबर इफ यू रिमेंबर इन आर ओल्डर कल्चर जो सुबह का जो माउथ वॉशिंग जो रिचुअल होता था वो काफी इलेबरेट होता था मंजन जिसे कहते हैं मंजन भी होता है दातून भी होता है गार्गल भी होता है तो पुराने लोग अभी भी करके वो गार्गल करते हैं और जो हम नहीं करते हैं क्योंकि हम बहुत सोफेस्टिकेटेड हो गए हैं अब हम वो आवाजें नहीं निकालते बट देसरसाइज देर आर्टिकुलेटर्स फर्स्ट थिंग इन द मॉर्निंग इतनी जोर जोर से कि पड़ोसियों को भी पता चल जाता था कि मिश्रा जी उठ गए हैं और गरारे कर रहे हैं 
you know and the whole colony would no it's not elaborate on the articulation ritual but this was a cleaning ritual which they had which we don't have anymore i'm not suggesting ki ab aap wo ban ke aap karna shuru kar dein i'm just saying that it is important you know to exercise all your articulators say each of the following words five times trying to keep the tongue forward just beneath the upper front teeth listen for the brightness and liveliness of the tone ye aapka zuban ko daant ke paas rakh ke baat karne ke liye ye wale words hain t d l t dish isme aapka smile mein aapka face apne aap ho jayega uske bina aap bol nahi sakte usko t d l t dish tail thick neat table ye wale hain for the tongue for the stiff upper lip which the britishers might have but we should not stiff upper lip is one cause of misarticulation say the words pick pat pick pat pick pat many times trying to pronounce the p's and the t's very clearly pick up speed don't lose the p and t pick pat 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 aise nahi karte na pick pat pick pat bolte jana jaw opening exercise there are these series ek sentence niche diya hua hai there are lots of words here these are for jaw only hat yat dot paw yard dart tap tot dark cup tat lad you say these ye likh lijiye aap ye char panch word clusters aur inko din mein ek baar subah bol lena then you know all your entire articulator set is exercised and ready for the day as a speaker okay uh, again i like so said i emphasize a lot on the tongue So there is this little poem also about the tongue. Mrs. Tongue lives in her house, the mouth. Every morning she mops it from ceiling to floor. First she sweeps her mop from left to right. Now, run your tongue in a full circle around your cheek walls. आपके मुंह के अंदर आपकी जुबान आपके मुंह को साफ रखने का भी काम करती है. Run your tongue in a full circle around your cheek uh, cheek walls. पहले एक डायरेक्शन में फिर दूसरे डायरेक्शन में रिपीट थ्री टाइम्स रिपीट ट्राइस ओके यू डू इट आपको अपने मुंह के अंदर गर्मी का एहसास होगा यू विल फील दैट समथिंग हैज हैपेंड सम एक्सरसाइज हैज हैपेंड नेक्स्ट शी स्वीप्स हर मॉक फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट रिवर्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द सर्कल रिपीट थ्री टाइम्स नाउ शी डस द फर्नीचर Sweep your tongue as rapidly as you can from side to side across your upper teeth. Mm. Repeat ten times. Okay. Then she shakes out the rug out of the window. Stick the tongue out. Extend as far as you can. जो problem शुरू में बताई थी of the tongue sticking inside your mouth. उसके लिए ये exercise है. Stick it out. Extend as far as you can. Move it rapidly up and down. Repeat at least ten times. Lastly, she sweeps away the cobwebs from around the front door. Stick the tongue out, sweep it right across the left and the and right side, outside your lips. Repeat three times, reverse direction. Pura andar se bahar tak with the tongue you can clean, and of course after that wash your face. That I have not mentioned here. Okay, so with this you would have exercised your articulators and your your tongue, your all the parts of the face, your mouth, and then you can. start for your day as a speaker okay how does a, a speaker impact an audience now the importance of speech how you look accounts for 55% that would include your facial expression your eyes your body language uh, that's why i'm stressing a lot on body language also you know 55% is that i mean i'm sorry to say we might think that our intelligence and our content of the speech and how well we are prepared would actually make us impressive to the audience but practically 55% of the effect is already made the moment the audience looks at you okay how you sound is 38% and what you actually say is only 7% you know so but in order to sound good you need to know your content in order to look good and confident you need to know your content also that's a different thing but ultimately it is your your looks and your speech that is going to make a difference looks would mean how you carry yourself you don't have to be beautiful you just have to carry yourself very well 
Okay. Now we need to really reflect on what type of communication are we using? Um, what type of communication do you see yourself using? Uh, do you have communication that creates negative behavior? Do you have communication that creates positive behavior? Because it, this is all a package. Communication is package. You just cannot leave out some parts and just concentrate on some. It has to be in total. Okay. Uh, I'm giving a list of commonly mispronounced words here. Uh, for instance, affidavit. Affidavit is a word which is pronounced wrongly more often. You know, it's pronounced as affidavit, if you have noticed. Antarctic, Antarctic. This is very common, February. February, 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 February. There are many ways. Probably, probably, probably. There are so many ways in which this is pronounced. Federal, federal constitution. We take away our knee and we say federal. Federal, right? Hierarchy, hierarchy. Okay. Interpret, interpret, or something else. But interpret is the word. This is again very common. Jewelry, jewelry. We call it jewelry. Hmm? Jewelry, because of dweller. You know, that's not our fault really. The one who makes jewelry is called dweller. So go to the dwellers and buy jewelry. Then library. Uh, often, 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 or something like that. Now I want you to try this. Come on, let's join with the centers. Okay, let's call some center. I want you to try this. Who is going to try this? <laughs> Let's see the Let's go to Bikaner. Do we have Bikaner? Bikaner. TDC. Bikaner. TDC Bikaner. Can you hear us? Bikaner. Bikaner, please. Dr. Muhammad Yunus Sheikh Ji, what is it? Bikaner, please come in the front, please. This shabd ka ucharan bataiye. This is Muhammad. How are you? How are you? Okay. How are you? Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Hello, sir. अपने माइक को थोड़ा अपने फेस से दूर रखिए थोड़ा सा. Hello, sir. आपको ये आप पहले पहले के बाद इको होती थी बहुत ज़्यादा. Hello. आपको ये स्क्रीन दिखाई दे रही है कुछ यहाँ पे बर्ड लिखे हुए हैं. हेलो आपको ये स्क्रीन दिखाई दे रही है जो स्लाइड के ऊपर यस सर यस सर कैन यू कैन यू स्पीक इट आउट इट्स बाइसिकल वेरी गुड इट्स बाइसिकल ओके नेक्स्ट वन बरी बरी या सी आई जस्ट टेल अबाउट दिस द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी फेस इज आ बिकॉज़ द वर्ड साइकल इट्स इट्स प्रोनाउंस साइकल सो व्हेन बी आई इज एडेड टू इट our tendency is to say bicycle, you know. But the correct pronunciation, like you just pointed out, very good, is bicycle. Similarly, berry. It's not bari. It's berry. You are absolutely right. Next one automatically becomes. Not berry. Berry. That's it. That's the thing. You uh, you can we go to some other center, uh, ma'am? Can we go to some other center, maybe? Yes. Uh, Chandigarh University, like uh, to say this word, the fourth one. I did not say the word. Bicycle. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Comfortable. It be. Uh, how can we? It's a right or wrong? It is wrong. We don't have to pronounce table as in table is comfortable. It becomes oh. table. 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 मैम से बोलते हैं ठीक बात हां कुक्षेत्र से बोलिए आप लास्ट वर्ड जो स्टार्टिंग विद द ओ बंदों के मैम नहीं सर ओ वी ई एन इज ठीक है ठीक है मैम यस मैडम आप आगे आके बोलिए मैम सम कनेक्ट नेट कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम है Okay. नहीं अभी आपकी आवाज आ रही है बोलिए आप बोलिए आप अब आप आपकी आवाज आ रही है मैम सम नेट कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम वी कैन हियर यू वी कैन हियर यू मैं वर्क में नाम सी एशन सेट टू वेट फॉर यू पर नॉन एशन के बोलते हैं कि नॉन एशन दैट्स व्हाई आई पुट इट ओके वी कैन गो टू समदर सेंटर मे बी देन ठीक है जी यस ओके O V E N is Madam Radhor me. Three mind P I. This is sound pronunciation. Say again O O V E N. Owen sound pronunciation. Okay. Vowel just because there is O W L owl in it. Bowl, okay. Just because there is O W L, we tend to call it bowl like owl. But it is bowl. Oven is right. Oven, not oven. 
it's Pavan. And pronunciation is absolutely right. Pronunciation, not pronunciation. Just because the word is pronounced, where it is pronunciation, you are absolutely right. Very good. What about this? Opportunity. Opportunity. Opportunity or opportunity? Otherwise, silent man. Opportunity. 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 Uh, but will you give me an opportunity? Opportunity. Can you give me an opportunity? Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> very good, very good. Both of us have got an opportunity to say opportunity. Yeah? <laughs> and this? Thought twice. No. Yes. Yes, ma'am? It's tortoise. Tortoise, very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very few people know this. You know, people tend to say tortoise, but it is tortoise. Very good. Very good, madam. This? Thank you, ma'am. How about this one? You want to try this one? S E W? So, so Shabbat. Because we tend to say shoe like new, like shoe. But it is so. You stitch and you sew. S E W. Still they will get there? So. How about this one? Not like Oracle, please. Not like Oracle. Miracle? Miracle? Miracle. 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 Okay. Not like I over here. Miracle. That's why I said it's not like Oracle. Not like a miracle. Cassette. 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 Science. Science. Everybody, you know, including science teachers, call it science, like S I S I G N S. You know the pronunciation of sign, S I G N S? You know, even science teachers call it science. It's not science, it is science. Science. The science of things, not science. Okay, so that's that's a very very problem word which nobody knows. All of us call it science. So, slang, <laughs> slang, so, so we understand science. Okay. <laughs> These are the problems of stress that we face. I am giving you the stress points here, you can see, H-O-T-E-L, huh? we know that the stress is on T, foot tail, foot tail, okay? similarly we pay, antibiotic, so you know where the stress is, which are saying antibiotic, antibiotic, foot tail, not foot tail, not foot tail, foot tail. So I'm giving you stress points in this manner. John is one of my colleagues. Where the stress is yes. John, John is my okay. I don't have any record of your online one. The doctor record the symptoms. You see the, the difference here? 
record and record it. I don't have any record uh, of your appointments. The doctor recorded. Here the stress is on R. Here the stress is on C. In the first word, it is record. Don't have any record. And then it is recorded. So the stress is on C in the next sentence. The patient has developed. The stress is on B. The patient has developed severe symptoms. Miss Smith's developmental history is quite complex. You know, so the stress points keep changing. That's why these examples are being given. Okay. The yes exercise. Yes. Let us connect now. Ma'am, can you connect with me? Sir, can I have this exercise here? जो भी अच्छे हैं। ये तो सर बहुत अच्छे से करवाते हैं। I think it's Chandigarh University. Would you want to do this exercise with me? Do you want to do this exercise? Yes, we can't hear them. आप अपने माइक को थोड़ा दूर रखिए बोलिए। Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. This is the exercise. You have to use the word yes, but the meaning of the word will be changing how you pronounce it. Alright? So if you are certain, you say yes. If you are in doubt, you say the same word yes, but in a different tone. This, and is, a, this is an exercise in intonation. intonation. You know, for the same, for word. different meanings, different expression inside. The same word can be pronounced differently. No. So that's what the, the, the five words here, certainty, love, and decision, and sarcasm, they are the feelings that you have. And the word that you have to speak is only yes. yes. Now please say yes with certainty, yes with doubt, yes with indecision, and yes with sarcasm. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Now, with certainty? Yes, yes. yes. And if you have to, if you have doubt, but still you have to say yes, but you have doubt. Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you want to join me in this exercise? Yes, yes. yes ma'am. That is certainty. That is certainty. And if you are doubtful? Yes. Okay. Indecision? Yes. 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 Your body language also has to be there. So it has to be. Doesn't you understand? Yes. 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 So somebody is giving a very very funky dress kind of thing, and he's coming, and you are just saying yes, no. That you are saying same word, but it is different meaning. No, no. Well, maybe I am surprised to learn that. I am annoyed to learn that. I am free and surprised to learn that. But you have only one word to express out this. That is no. When you say definitely not, you have to do this exercise I now. I think somebody will hear one. One of our participants, two of your participants, they want to do it. Have a sentence? No. Uh, I will be there. I will be there. 
you are saying this determination uh -huh. sure that i will be there will you be there in the class tomorrow either with yeah. or you say with pleasant agreement or you are surprised and saying i will be there i will be oh. and then annoying you are annoyed i will be there okay. uh, you want to try it kushetra Where do we want to try this? Yeah, Who wants to try? Please raise your hand. We'll go there. Yeah. At Kuchetra, you want to try, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Say with uh, determination. I will be there. Okay. Then pleasant agreement. I will be there. And surprise. I will be there. So. Uh, it is the same tone which you are using, ma'am. You have to change the stresses at different uh, uh, places. The same sentence. Can you say surprise? I will be there. More stress on me. I will be there. या खुद हैरान हैं कि आपको उस जगह पे रहना है. तो आप कैसे उसको express करेंगे? I'll be there. मैं भी रहूँगा क्या वहाँ पे? Strange, ना? आप surprised हैं. अगर आपको गुस्सा आ रही है कि मुझे वहां जाना ही पड़ेगा या मुझे रहना पड़ेगा आपका एक्सप्रेशन चेंज हो जाएगा। वुड यू लाइक ट्राई अगेन मैम? हेलो। यस। यस। माइक थोड़ा दूर रखिए अपने हेलो। माइक को थोड़ा दूर रखिए बोलिए यार। माइक को थोड़ा दूर Hello. Bring your mic uh, under the chin. Yes. I'll be there. I'll be there. Mic, do it, bro. Mic. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. And surprise. I'll be there. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Annoyance. I'll be there. Okay. Okay. Well tried. Well tried. <laughs> This is a very interesting, very very interesting exercise. Uh, you have to use the sentence "I like Dave." I like Dave. This is neutral way of speaking out. To bring out the following, the expression uh, will be changing with the same sentence. A direct statement of the fact. You mean literally. What the word says. The word says, "I like Dave." Then the second one is a contradiction of the literal meaning of the word. Actually, you you do not like Dave, but you are saying, "I like Dave." How will you say that? Then irritation and surprise that anyone anyone could conceivably accuse you of liking Dave. Somebody is saying that you like Dave, but actually you do, you do not like Dave. So how you will say the same sentence? I like Dave. Then indecision. You are not very sure whether you like or not. <laughs> Then uh, specific indication that you are liking is for Dave and not for anybody else. Okay. And then your sentence to the question, who likes Dave? I mean, who could like Dave? That 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 kind of uh, feeling. Then an aggressive and empathetic answer to the question, who could possibly care for a man like Dave? This is very. <laughs> You know what? This this whole exercise, this whole exercise sums up all that I have yes. been discussing all morning. You have only one sentence to express it in different ways. Okay, who will be volunteering that? Kindly raise your hand at different centers. We will go to that center now. Who will do that? Who likes Dave really? <laughs> Chandigarh University coming back to Chandigarh yes. University. Yes, let's have Chandigarh oh, University. Oh, there's one girl at the back. She has raised her hand. I see some students there. Come on, come on. Come on, come in the front, ma'am. Come, come in front. Yeah, I come think you like it. Come. Yes. <laughs> let's have this. Uh, come here to microphone. Jenny, yeah. Yes. Jenny. Yeah. 
मैडम सिट डाउन प्लीज आपका आपका फेस दिखाई नहीं दे रहा हमारे वट इज योर नेम The problem is with the mic. Your mic is uh, uh, no, not sounding very good. Okay, okay. One at one at a time. Let us speak. Okay, now, now I like you have once in ten. I like Dave. Okay, in a neutral way. It's a, a direct, statement of a that. Statement of that. You, how how you say the sentence? Say, ma'am, now. It is okay. ये कौन सा है ये कौन सेंटर है ये ये नहीं दूसरे वाला ग्रीन शेड ये ये वाले सर ये जो सुधांशु से जो कोई सेफ पर जो आप बता रहे हो जो फर्स्ट यस जेएमआईटी जेएमआईटी यमुना नगर रदौर का रदौर वो भी लाइक टू ट्राई वन विद अ ग्रीन शर्ट और ग्रीन सूट वो लाइक रेड प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड Yeah. Okay. Use whatever name you like. Yeah. <laughs> like Pooja <laughs> or any name. One thing we have to yeah, we have to do it fast if we have to do it at all. Koi bhi ek karwa ho. I think this lady. No, this, this gentleman again. Uh, Mr. Darji. Yes. He is very good. Why don't you do it? Come on. Aapka kya naam hai? Mr. Singh, would you like to do this? Yeah. Mr. Singh, are you able to hear us? Ajo, ajo. Hmm. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, now you say this sentence. I like Dave. I like Dave. Okay. Now you have to use the same sentence. Because you don't like Dave. Yeah, you don't like Dave, but you have to say I like Dave. I like Dave. Okay. You are irritated and you are surprised that we are telling you that you you like Dave. No, no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next. That's the next challenge. You have to say that you like Dave. Okay. You, know, you are getting irritated because we are going on. Actually, you don't like Dave, but uh, people have a perception that you like Dave. Okay. I like Dave. I, I like Dave. I like Dave. Okay, you are undecided. You don't know whether you like Dave or not. Okay, let's make it Pooja. Pooja, you see? Yeah. Happy, bolo. You are undecided whether you like Pooja or not. No, ma'am. चलिए भी बिल्कुल समाधान सेंटर देंगे। ये आगे हैं। Okay, come back to Chandigarh. Yes, Chandigarh. That. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yes. Now you start. Let's have it quickly. In, in this season, as you're feeling about Dave, in this season, whether you like it, like him or no, say ma'am again. At Chandigarh University. Yes. <laughs> no, whether you like Dave or not. But you have to say I like him. I like Dave. I like Dave. Okay. Now you want to be very specific that you only like Dave and you don't like any other person who is here. I like Dave. I like Dave. You have to press upon the word Dave. I like Dave. 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 Okay. Now I ask the question to the class. Who likes Dave? Who likes Dave? No, oh, you, you have, have to answer. I like Dave. I like Dave. Yeah. 
and then aggressive and empathetic. How can you like the area? Now you have to say that you like it. How can anybody like it? I like it. I like it. Yeah. So with every every time you say I like it, sometimes you emphasize on I, sometimes you emphasize on like, and sometimes you emphasize on they, depending on the situation. Right. So whatever you're feeling inside, you can make it out. You know. You can make out what the person is feeling by what he chooses to emphasize. Okay, the so words do not mean the same to everybody. They change with the feelings and the perceptions. This is going back a full circle from where we started. That's where we are ending today. Okay. So if you have any questions.